Hi, welcome back Fourier transform. In this lesson, we are going to look at Fourier transform properties. Property number one, linearity. If you are given two functions, g1t and g2t in time domain, and their respective frequency domain functions, capital G1f and capital G2f, then we can write a times g1t plus b times g2t in frequency domain equal to a times g1f plus b times g2f. Basically, the time domain functions multiplied by the coefficient can be added linearly in the time domain as well as in the frequency domain. The next property is called scaling property. You are given a function gt in time domain and capital GF is in the frequency domain. We can write g times at in frequency domain equal to 1 over modulus of a times g capital G f over a. This is called scaling. Basically, the multiplication in time domain will become a division here for the amplitude as well as for the frequency f over a. And the property number three called duality. Again, we are given the function gt and capital GF in time domain and frequency domain respectively. And then we can write the duality theorem where we replace the function simple g with capital G. Basically what you get here as the Fourier transform function in frequency domain, we replace f with t. You write capital GT and then if you do the Fourier transform of this function you will get simple G in negative F. That means the time domain function replaced with negative F. Property number four, time shifting property. Again we are given GT in time domain, capital GF in frequency domain. Then if you shift gt in time domains by t0, gt minus t0, then frequency domain, it will become capital GF times exponential minus j2 pi f times t0. This shift will become an exponential function here. And property number 5, frequency shifting. Again, we have gt and capital GF. Then the function gt multiplied by an exponential function j2 pi fct will become a function frequency shifted function capital G f minus fc, fc here. In this case the time domain you multiply by an exponential function exponential j2 pi fct in this case positive j here in the previous case, uh, if you look at look back here, we have a negative sign. When there was when there's a shift in time domain by t0, then there'll be a negative sign here. And here you get a positive sign, and fc will become gf minus fc. Property number six: differentiation in time domain. Again, we have gt in time domain, capital GF in frequency domain. Then, if you differentiate gt in time domain with respect to t, we get a function in frequency domain which is equal to j2 pi f times gf, capital GF. So, differentiation in time domain will become a multiplication here, j2 pi f times capital GF. Property number seven, integration in time domain. Again, we have GT in time domain, capital GF in frequency domain, and G0, capital G0 equal to 0. And then if we integrate the function GT in time domain, where we have an intermediate variable tau, and integral, uh, integration from minus infinity to t, G tau, D tau, 
will become a function in frequency domain which is equal to 1 over j 2 pi f times capital G f. This is an integration in time domain. So once you integrate you get this function in terms of t because you substitute for t a tau will be replaced with a t. Property number 8 conjugate functions. Again gt in time domain capital GF in frequency domain then we can write G star T in frequency domain equal to G star minus F. Star means complex conjugate. Complex conjugate in time domain and complex conjugate in frequency domain and replace with a negative frequency here. Instead of F you have negative F. And the property number 9, multiplication in time domain. Again, we have two functions, G1t, G2t in frequency domain. They are G1f and G2, G2f respectively. And if you multiply G1t and G2t in time domain, then that will become a frequency domain, sometimes called convolution. And you can write it as minus infinity plus infinity g1 lambda g2 f minus lambda d lambda. So this is frequency domain convolution. This time domain multiplication. Okay, this is the last property. Property number 10, convolution in time domain. Again, we have two functions g1 t and g2 t in time domain. And in frequency domain, they are G1F and G2F respectively. Then if you take the time domain convolution, G1T convolution which G2T, which can also be written as negative integration plus infinity integration, G1 tau, G2T minus tau, D tau. In the frequency domain, is equal to G1F times G2F. Basically, time domain convolution will become a frequency domain multiplication. So those are the 10 properties of Fourier transform.